This movie has changed my life. This is one of the worst movies I have ever seen. It's I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Scary Movie 5! Yes, I finally saw it, and oh my gosh! So, let's start out with my, uh, my history with the Scary Movie franchise. I saw the first one, and I really liked it. It was hilarious, it was funny, and it had a little bit of hip, hip and edge in it. I just, I really related to it, and I thought it was hilarious. The second one, I actually loved. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's one of my favorite comedies, just, it may be my favorite comedy up there with Austin Powers, Gold Member, but it's, it's just, it's hilarious. It's, it's so funny. And then three came out. And it was rated PG-13. And then the problems started coming in. It wasn't as funny. It didn't even keep the same actors. The story was stupid. And it just... It was just kind of throwaway stupidness. And then the fourth one came out. And it started getting annoying. And then this one came out. And it's just the most lazy, convoluted piece of crap you could think of. It spoofs Mama, Paranormal Activity, one through four. Yes, it spoofs all of them. It spoofs Evil Dead, which came out a week before this came out. It spoofs Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Inception. The Inception segment was okay. I mean, the guy looked exactly like DiCaprio, but it wasn't funny. It's, it also spoofs Cabin in the Woods, The Black Swan, The Help, all these awesome movies. How do you spoof Cabin in the Woods? I, it's like a spoof of all horror movies. It's telling you to stay away from horror movies, and they spoof that. Like, how? That's like spoofing scary movie. You just can't do it. The writing is abysmal, and so is the acting. It's awful. It stars Ashley Tisdale. Charlie Sheen's in it. He's the best part of the movie. It stars Lindsay Lohan is in it for like two seconds. Snoop Dogg is in this. Snoop Dog. It stars that guy from the Axe commercials that was in the Expendables 2. I think he was in the Axe commercials. Oh, man. It's just, it's a convoluted mess of unfunny jokes. I was expecting this to be funny, but it was just, it was horrible. It doesn't even feel like a movie. The plot is non-existent. It feels like a bunch of unfunny events happening at just jokes that are just forced and are being just, they're, they're just forced in there. And it's just, it's just crap thrown at the screen so they can be like, oh, hold on, now we get money because you can't have it back, ha <laughs> ha, because you already paid us and now you get to watch this crap. I was three seconds away from walking right out of the movie theater. This movie was just so infuriating. I literally, if some kid threw a piece of crap at my face. I would have been like, that is the best part about this movie. Sorry, this is just a straight up rant, but I can't, I can't even help it. The Rise of the Planet of the Apes costumes are just, they're so bad. This was made on like 20 bucks, or at least it looks like it. The mom spoofed the kids like move around like really, really fast editing. It looks so weird. The editing is so weird and it's not Funny. The mama spoofs was mo was uh, used the most out of all of the spoofing, and it just it wasn't funny at all. There's a lot of slapstick poop humor, like uh, when these guys come in and there's like the same cabin that they found the uh, uh, the uh, the little girls and mama and uh, Snoop Dogg comes in and one of the girls like runs and grabs onto his leg, and then the other guys that are with him are like, wait, I can help this, and then the then the girl lets go, and he kicks him in the nuts, and it's just like, oh, and that's the joke. It feels like every scene is just put up for that one unfunny joke, and it's so unrealistic, and then it's just rinse and repeat. They just do that. They set a scene up for an unfunny joke, and then that scene is just over with, and then they do another one, and another one, and you're just, you're sick of it. I never thought a comedy could be so 
boring. I hated this movie. It's worse than Jack and Jill. Jack and freaking Jill with Adam Sandler. Do you, do you understand? It's just, oh man. Sorry, this is such a big rant. For my final verdict for Scary Movie 5, a 1 out of 10. It's one of the worst movies I have ever seen. It is the worst comedy I have ever seen. It's ridiculous and insulting. This is Peter Lunk signing off. Oh my god.